name is Jennifer Moore, and today I am going to talk to you about anxiety. Anxiety is a body's natural response to stress. Have you ever caught yourself overthinking or thought of a situation that has caused you to feel your adrenaline start to go up? As humans, we tend to deal with stressful situations in life, either school-related, work-related, or family problems. According to Anxiety and Depression Association America, if of America, anxiety affects 40 million adults in the United States, ages 18 and older. That being 18.1% of the United States population every year. According to Beyond Blue, there are six types of anxiety. One being social anxiety, second being generalized anxiety, third being specific phobias, fourth being panic disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD, disorders, also known as PTSD. Everyone experiences anxiety at some point in their life, whether it being giving a speech, first day of school, a job orientation, or a job interview, or taking an exam, or crossing the street every day, and others deal with it. Anxiety affects everyone. The demands and stress of specific life events can make experiencing anxiety even more frequent. Caused by small life situations. It can be like work, stress, financial issues, or death in a family. It can be caused by env environmental factors, or it can be given, or it can even be given genetic. Some effects that anxiety causes, according to Healthline, are effects in the body. So nervous system, it can, it gives panic attacks, can cause your brain to release stress hormones, it affects the cardiovascular system, it causes, it can cause rapid heart, heart rate and high blood pressure. It also affects the immune system. It's the respiratory system causing rapid heart and shallow breathing. We see that, in, that anxiety affects us all throughout our bodies. It can also affect us emotionally. Some emotional effects can be you can't concentrate, you're nervous, panic, not let anxiety take a toll on your body. It is unhealthy. Some ways of keeping yourself distracted are finding a hobby, doing exercise, hanging out with friends, distracting yourself, and distracting yourself from worrying and giving, say you go on a run, you can give all your, all your energy towards that specific activity so you won't have time to focus on whatever you want to work, whatever you feel like you're going to give get anxiety from. You can you can go on a run. I mean, you can go f hang out with your friends rather than going and having anxiety and getting emotionally and physically drained. The potential to take a toll in your life and get in the way and get in the way of your life. But just know that you can overcome this. Maybe I'm not maybe I might not go away a hundred percent, but there are things you can do out there that can help you um improve not getting anxiety as much as you used to. And just know that you are not alone and 
everything will get better.